God praise. You owe God thanks. You owe glory unto God because your sustenance is at the instance of God. I've shared many times how that a number of years ago I was, you know, I was I had to go to a hospital to pray for a little boy, a, a, a teenager. And as I went into that hospital room, I saw from his body blood being drained out of his body into a machine, and from that machine, blood going back into his body. And I asked, What's going on? And the mother said, He doesn't have the ability to put oxygen inside his blood. So they must take that blood from his body and oxygenate it, and then send it back into his body. And that's the only way he will be able to stay alive. And she said, This process costs 9,000 pounds every week. 9,000 pounds every week to oxygenate the blood of an individual. Now, in the very same room where this boy was going through that procedure, I was standing, the mother was standing, another pastor was standing with me, three of us, and we were freely taking oxygen in and breathing it out. It was not the lack of oxygen that that boy was suffering from. It was the fact that we were assisted by God to carry out a process that he needed physical assistance to carry it out. Now, hear this. I came out from that experience with this statement. Man is too, ex man is too expensive to be maintained by man. Can you imagine if oxygen costs 9,000 pounds to sustain a week? How about your kidney? How about your liver? How about your heart? Everything that is working within you, only one person is keeping it at work. And his name is Jehovah, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the one who is El Shaddai, the multi-breasted God. Will you lift your hand to heaven and say, thank you, Jesus. In Psalm 116 and verse 8, look at what the Bible says here. It says, for thou hast delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from falling look at every one of us here today how many tears we have escaped how many deaths we have escaped how many follies we have escaped will you lift your hand to heaven and say thank you jesus there are people who look around their life and point at things that they are not happy about complaining about a complain about b complain about c but I heard God's servant and father say something many years ago. He said, it is what happened that you know. What could have happened, you don't know. What happened is the one that you know. What could have happened, you are not aware of. So you better give God thanks before what you escape becomes a reality. You better give God the glory. That's what he's saying in that scripture. He said, this commandment is for you. If you will not lay it to heart, he said, then I will cause your blessing. You will see what you could have looked at without my blessing. I'd like you to understand that no matter your present position where you are is somebody's prayer point. So better give God glory for it. <laughs> give him glory. Make sure that your gratitude is never lacking. Make sure your gratitude is never absent. Somebody say, but pastor, I'm not yet married now. How about thanking God for the fact that you are marryable? Somebody said, but I don't have children yet. You better thank God that you are married to have children. Somebody said, I don't have money. Thank God you have life that money can come into. There is no dead man that can carry money in his hand. No matter what your position is, there is something to be grateful for. There is something to be thankful for. You don't have the capacity to defend your life. You don't have the capacity to sustain your life. You don't have the capacity to bless your life. That is why we owe God the glory at every point in time.